I'm not a, I'm not a biologist, so it's it's difficult for me to, uh, you know, I, I I can't I couldn't challenge you if I if I if I wanted to necessarily <laughs> yeah. on this stuff. I'm you know that's not my uh, expertise, but I, I hear you saying or I hear you sort of insinuating that that assigning sex at birth is not it's not as accurate a, a an, an action as we believe or or we shouldn't do it or how is it that you well, feel about no, that? Uh, so uh, you know I don't, I don't mean to be uh obtuse here so i think oh, no, we it's still, just me thinking thinking no, through I, I think we're going to still assign uh sex at birth okay but i yeah, i'm just yeah. i'm just pointing out that people look to biological sex as the the mm-hmm. foundation for figuring everything out about sex and gender and i'm saying even there wow. there's some slippage it's not exactly you know binary you know male and female uh, that there there uh-huh. there are some variations and and actually even a government document a few years ago us government document uh, reviewing sort of meta review of all the research on sex and gender pointed out that uh, sexual and gender minority variation are normal variations in, in uh-huh. nature, and that uh, they've always been present. We just didn't. We just acted like they weren't present. We, you know, we did surgeries on babies. We didn't know about what was going to happen with chromosomal differences. We've discovered a lot, but mm-hmm. people who people who say, "Well, there are only two sexes," no, and that's the most biological characteristic. Then we have sexual orientation, and we have gender. Mm-hmm identity and expression, which yeah, are, those which are, more, are far more nuanced, right? Right. Yeah. So but what would you say to people who, you know, my understanding of sex is that, you know, uh, it is binary because there are only two potential uh, gametes that get produced. Uh, I may be screwing up the language here. Well, the but, gametes uh, are, are um, sperm and egg. Right. And, ye- and yes, there's only sperm and egg. There's not a third like gamete right. that, you know, like produces something else. But even, even if you take those two and you say, okay, that's, that produces the zygote, the fertilized mm-hmm. egg and sperm is a zygote. That's the beginning of the combination, you know, the, the genesis of a, of a, of a baby. Mm-hmm. Even there, you have all these variations I was just discussing, which are, right. which are not apparent until birth most times. Okay. Right. But they can be detected. Some of them can be detected in utero. Some of the genetic things can be yeah. detected in utero. So I can, okay. Yeah. So I can see that being, you know, a uh, reason to, again, as we mentioned earlier, to emphasize the individual and to, you know, point to that. And, and when it comes to care, it should be individualized care. Right. Uh, That's right. But, but, but it doesn't necessarily refute the idea that, sex is largely binary and that, you know, for the most yeah. part, we will, we will hit the target when we, right. <laughs> when that's we assign right. sex at birth. Right. Okay. That's right. So and the, the other, the other element though, that's important, Angel is, is time. So, you know, we have uh-huh. a, a nine months in utero, but then you have the growing uh, child and over time, uh, children express differences, all kinds of differences. And uh, we know from some of the research on child development that some temperamental differences can be detected even in utero. Uh-huh. You know, believe it or not, you know, a more active or passive baby, and so on. Yeah. And and we know that the brain is developing even though the baby's not born yet. So mm-hmm. you know, there are studies on uh, psycholinguistic studies that 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 look at well, the the, the ones that are most impressive are the ones with uh, by by uh, bilingual, bicultural mothers and, and what happens with their babies. And, and they've done brain studies with, with fetuses mm-hmm. where they, they can show that a fetus understands the difference between when the mother is talking in one language versus when the mother is using the, uh, the different language. Wow. And, and the reactions of the brain in utero map to the reactions of the brain after the baby is born. So wow. th- there's, there's an ability of the child to register mother's voice and a language yeah. difference, which is like, wow. isn't that kind of mind boggling? So yeah, that's the, a, wow. the, the brain's turned on, you know, from the beginning. Mm-hmm. But of course, 
the rapid period of development of the brain is the second trimester. So that's the time when, you know, uh, in neural pathways proliferate, you know, the, the brain is really starting to mature and, and so on. By the third trimester, the brain is working. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, we, we start absorbing messages, uh, <laughs> certainly when we're babies, but even yeah. in utero. And if you think about it, so mothers, and, and the, the, there's another set of studies that show that mothers speak to their babies differently if they think the baby is a male baby or a female baby. Hmm. So we, we socialize our children before they're born. Hmm. 